Hey everyone, thanks so much for joining me for my review of Mobile Suit Gundam The Witch from Mercury, Episode 3, Ghoul's Pride. So we kind of picked this one up where the last um, ended, and we have Miorina and Saleta having a discussion before the big duel that I think everyone just really wants to see in this episode. Um, Saleta actually doesn't want to get married since it's going to prevent her from having dates, which is like one of these things that she wanted to do to go to school. She kind of has a list of like all the things she wants to do, like make friends and contacts and, and all this kind of jazz. Um, then we kind of cut to Ghoul talking with his dad. Apparently he got this like souped up Gundam with like a crazy AI that does like some math, blah, 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 techno battle. Um, okay. And then Soleta's talking to her mom and her mom is the, uh, mask kind of Char clone from the last episode, um, Prospera, which would I think be a great DJ name. Um, so good call to everyone who picked up on that, which would not have been me. Uh, then Suleta goes to the dueling committee meeting where they kind of deal with some formalities and kind of explain a little bit more of um, kind of how the duels work. And then the duel happens. Uh, everyone gets funnels. Uh, winds up that Ghoul's new Gundam is like absurdly powerful and the AI doesn't even require him piloting. Um, then he has this like cool his dad sets up this like cool rain system thing that like prevents a bunch of like the weaponry from working but ghoul doesn't kind of realize um that his dad set it up he kind of just thought i don't know i, I guess he just thought there was some sort of magic rain that just like destroys suleta's gundam from working properly uh, unclear Anyway, uh, Miorine takes things into her own hands and she grabs like the support mobile suit to go fix how whatever rain stuff is coming out of the sprinklers and stopping the aerial from um you know working properly and then after ghoul kind of figures out all this stuff that his dad did um he eventually disables the crazy ai to kind of have an even fight um and then the aerial wins and then maybe in a probably unsus unexpected uh twist Ghoul proposes to Saleta. It did kind of seem throughout the episode they were building up a romance between the two of them, but I'm a little surprised they gave it away so quickly. So I really like this episode. Um, you know, the episode started off slow, but, you know, everyone and everyone knows why we're here, right? We wanted to see this like awesome duel remat rematch. That being said, they did some really interesting character development at the beginning. You know, a lot of Saleta's personality is kind of like this generic, shy anime girl, which is you know, maybe not super exciting, but I think she does have, like, an interesting set of morals. Um, you know, specifically the respect she has for him for not, like, running away from the battle. Um, although I don't really like the whole, like, Saleta being shy around ghoul stuff, though maybe... Well, I had a note here that maybe it was a future romantic uh, pairing, but obviously, um, at least from ghoul's side, it is a now a current uh, romantic pairing. Um, and, and again, just great music. I, I really, really love the music as they do kind of like the build up um, to the duel. And they have all these like, uh, you know, they're in, it's, it's completely, it's completely ridiculous. It's, it's the most Gundam duel that's ever Gundam. Um, and that's what I love so much about it. It's like they're in these like giant boxes and then they're like going all around and they have to like recite all these like, poems that before the duel could start properly it's it's completely ridiculous and the music that's playing in the background is is absolutely amazing um the battle totally delivered you know rather than just doing like a straight rehash of the first episode you know a duel that we've kind of already seen a few episodes ago um you know they kind of mix it up a little bit they do this you know good job of um you know just starting to build up uh the tension and then also kind of using that to you know, establish some of the character development. You know, I think uh, establishing Ghoul uh, as a strong character in particular, you know, at first he doesn't realize that his dad had sort of set things up, um, you know, to help him out, which, I mean, maybe may not make him the smartest character. But uh, when, you, when he does finally realize what's going on, you can kind of see just how disappointed he is that, you know, his, his dad doesn't believe in him. And then he kind of tries to, you know, kind of take things into his own hand and have kind of kind of like a fair duel one on one with with the Ariel. Um, I'm kind of wondering just with all the AI versus humans, if we're going to be revisiting some of the themes from a meme. Um, there were some interesting themes in that show uh, entered earlier this year. Um, the show itself, you know, personally, I didn't think was was super well executed. 
but I do think there's a lot of good stuff that maybe they can um, sprinkle into into um, Witch for Mercury. And of course, the best thing about this episode is that Ghoul's Gundam have these like awesome like funnel arms. Um, it's almost like a, a model kit where it's just like it splits up into all these pieces and then kind of reconstructs itself. Um, and kind of like I was saying before, I think the episode went um, a long way to rehabbing a Ghoul's character. Um, unsurprisingly, you know, the aerial wins. Otherwise, the show would would probably have ended pretty quickly. Um, and I guess we're probably going to go back to the high school plot established in episode one um, until something more interesting starts to build up. Um, although the first half of the episode started off a little slow, I think it did pick up and the duel definitely delivered. Um, I really liked everything about this episode, the production values, and again, the sound design in particular just continue to remain strong. Um, you know, just more character development, giving some of the characters who maybe were portrayed more as villains in the beginning, making them a little bit more likable. Um, I really like the mobile suit design. The The aerial doesn't quite look like a traditional Gundam, but I think it has the defining characteristics that when you look at it, you know it's a Gundam, but with a new spin and some really interesting weapons. I'm um, in Ghoul Suit, which I didn't uh, catch the name of, was super cool as well. And I'm just loving in general all of the drone slash funnel slash remote weaponry um, of the show. Really looking forward to the, the next episode, really looking forward to the series. And this is definitely something that I am now starting to look forward to, um, you know, week to week. I'd probably give this episode another uh probably eight out of ten i think it did a good job of wrapping up the little mini arc and drama from the first three episodes and now we'll let the show settle into a bit of a status quo for a while before i'm sure setting up the main plot of the first season um and i think in general you know you can't really disrupt the status quo until you establish the status quo so i think that we've kind of built up something you know hopefully have the status quo for you know, five, six, seven more episodes, then start to break it up again. Um, and second season was already announced, so we should be getting plenty of Witch for Mercury for for quite a while, presumably the traditional 50-episode Gundam show, unless things really start to go south, which I really don't predict. Anyway, thanks so much for checking out this episode. If you enjoyed it, um, appreciate a like or subscribe, and uh, check out some of the other reviews. I mentioned the main Warrior at the Bora line, which is another um, Sunrise show from earlier in the year. And uh, just doing a lot of figure reviews um, that are going up on Wednesdays. Thanks so much.